In this project, we will simulate the cavitation process in a radial flow pump. The present model is designed in three dimensions using Blakegen software. The meshing of the present model has been done using TurboGrid software. The current model is designed in three dimensions using Design Modeler software. Also, the meshing is done in three dimensions using the ANSYS meshing software. The mesh type is unstructured. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. Now, there are several assumptions made in this project. The first one is that the type of our solver is said to be pressure-based since we are dealing with incompressible flows. Uh, also, the velocity formulation is taken to be in absolute form. Uh, about the time study, we have selected the steady time study since we want our results to not be as a function of time. After clicking on Passage Domain Zone, a new window will appear. In the Appear window, after clicking on Frame Motion and activating it, uh, you can see that a new part will be added to this window. In the added part, under the rotational velocity section, uh, you can see that we have defined the rotational speed of 20 radian per second for this zone. In the appeared window, you can see that the stationary wall motion uh, alongside no slip shear condition is defined for this boundary. After double clicking on the run calculation, a new window will appear. In the appeared window, under the parameter section, you are able to set the number of iteration you want your simulation to progress. Uh, after defining the number, by clicking on calculate, the software will start the simulation process. Now in this pressure control, you can easily see how the pressure has increased from the inlet surface to the outlet. Now in order to see the volume fraction of vapors uh, on the surface of the blades, in order to better understand where the cavitation has occurred, we have to change the variable from pressure to phases. Uh, after selecting the phases and selecting the volume fraction, we select the phase vapor in order to see the vapor volume fraction. After that, just like previous slides, we just have to select the surfaces we want to see our contour. Uh, again, by clicking on Save or Display button, the software will show you the contour. As you can see in this contour, near, near the inlet section and on the tip of the palm blade, the volume fraction of gasoline vapor has increased, which means that the uh, Gasoline liquid has turned to vapor in this area uh, and this change from liquid to vapor will cause cavitation. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. The present problem simulates the cavitation phenomenon inside a radial flow pump using ANSYS fluent software. This pump is of the centrifugal pump type. In this way, the desired fluid enters the pump parallel to the central axis and exits the pump radially or perpendicular to the inlet path. These types of pumps are commonly used to create high pressures at low flow rates and are also the most common type among pumps. These pumps are devices that work inherently based on pressure changes. In this modeling, the pressure boundary condition at the inlet and outlet boundaries of pump is used. Thus, the liquid diesel flow enters the pump actually with a pressure of 0 pascals and exits pump radially with a pressure of 100 kilopascal. Also, to define the rotation of fluid inside the pump, a frame motion tool with a rotational speed equal to 20 radian per second has been used. The purpose of this work is to investigate the cavitation phenomenon inside the pump. The present model is designed in three dimensions using Blakegen software. Since the present model is radially symmetrical, only one piece of it can be drawn radially and then expanded around the central axis. Therefore, the model consists of a single piece which on, what, on the one hand has an actual flow input section and on the other hand has a radial output section. On both sides of this piece, the periodic boundary type is used and in the middle of it, a blade is drawn as a curve. If we expand this piece around the central axis, a radial flow pump with seven blades will be created. The meshing of the present model has been done using TurboGrid software. 
the mesh type is structured and the element number is equal to 63,308. To benefit from Master CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at signmastercfd.com.